Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again and this time we are gonna play as... Oh, do, 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 do. I don't know, maybe just fish. Maybe just fish. It's been a bit since we played as fish. Just something easy, classic. Just no, no frills, <clears throat> no pompous stuff. Also, I have just had lunch, so I apologize. My voice is a little bit more raspy than normal. Always happens. I always do this. I eat lunch and then I start a video and every time I'm like, why did I why did I start the video straight after eating lunch? It's always like not a good idea. Unfortunately, we didn't get a level up on the first stage, which is really a big shame or a good weapon. Actually, it's really a big shame we come to this area because this area is pretty significantly more difficult and I'd rather have a mutation and a good weapon to go at it with. But we did not get that this day and um, we just have to pray to Jeebus that we don't get hit by these explosives. Because the explosives are uh, quite gnarly. But luckily, it looks like we're going to get <clears throat> at least a level. Well, we've, got, we've already got a level. We might even get two uh, out of all of this. We might even get two. <clears throat> Assault rifle, obviously great. We got we got another one. There you go. We shall go down and see what's what. Right, okay. Um, da -da 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 -da. I'll take glass arm. It's a little risky, but I'll take scarier face as well. Just for that massive boost to our dam potential damage output. I very much like that. Very much like that indeed. You see how much that was, that was worth there? Nice. I'm trying to use the roll a little more. I never really used the roll as this guy. And it's, it's pretty valuable. Okay. We've managed to actually open that up. Ooh, micro SMG. You know. You know how much I love these. Especially if we can get some accuracy bonuses. These things are, are pretty gnarly. Okay, unfortunately that didn't actually really plan out the way I was hoping. I don't think this thing does the most damage with uh, with scarier face, really. You want to be th looking for things that have really high damage, to be honest. But it's enough, um, and we might be able to make it work with an accuracy boost that we're about to get right now. No. Um, <clears throat> power craving would be good. Nerves of Steel is not bad either. Um, I don't know, though. I, I don't really ever take Euphoria, and I think Euphoria is good. I want this revolver to go away. Thank you. I was just waiting for it to just move out the way. <clears throat> Honestly, I think the um, the assault rifle is going to be a little better right now, just because it's a lot more accurate. Um, and we kind of need that right now. I mean, actually here, to be fair, we don't, because there's just enemies fucking everywhere. But in general, accuracy is going to be better. Oh god, the boss is here already, and there's a lot of enemies still left, so this could be not great for us. Honestly, I'm going to just peel back over this way and, yeah, get into some open area. I think we need distance <clears throat> to be able to effectively kill this boss, because this boss is not easy at all. I find this boss actually extremely difficult. Assault Slug is kind of a crazy one to get here. Was not expecting that. <clears throat> we do quite like it. It's uh, it's a pretty high level weapon to get this early on, to be honest. But I think I think going to this stage progresses like your, your weapon levels a bit faster, maybe. We got a Frost Shotgun there as well, which is actually probably a little better, to be honest. The shotgun itself is good, but Frost is good, even better than what I'd say an Assault Slugger is. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, <clears throat> things are going well. <clears throat> Apologies about my throw. We got throwing butt there, uh, water boost, unlimited rolling. Uh, get even more ammo from ammo pickups is, is pretty goddamn good. I'm going to take that. I don't really use it that often. <clears throat> unlimited rolling is kind of nice for just moving around quicker. We've just got to be cautious as all. But yeah, the freezing here is, is really going to be very, very useful. We've just got to be very careful of the uh, myriad of poison that is about in this stage. It is numerous. <clears throat> the needle's just a melee weapon. We don't need that right now. Okay, that was a pretty bad hit by me there. I kind of thought he'd be frozen for a little longer than that. Ooh, unfortunately, we have uh, activated a frog, which is never a good thing. But actually, it didn't go too badly. I'm a little worried right now at my current standing of HP. Uh, so I'm looking to take something that bolsters our HP a little bit. But honestly, shotgun shoulders with this thing could be amazing. I, I genuinely think I could die here pretty easily. The enemies on this stage are gnarly. Um, but at the minute, I'm just going to hope for the best. Uh, we got ourselves a Seeker crossbow, which might be quite fun. It's kind of... It seems like an interesting weapon. It seems pretty good with, um, with Scarier Face, to be honest. Which we always like. It's these, these little fuckers that are annoying. But luckily we have some level of herming here, so... 
This is actually really good with scarier face. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I didn't, I didn't quite catch that assassin. I saw him, I clocked him, but I didn't quite like catch him before he shot. Ah, oh, well, swipe, should I say. A little bit annoying there. That was a pretty good run we got, we had going. I, I do kind of want to take that path again, to be honest. That was, uh, that was pretty good. Oh, what? Did it just shut on me? I tried to open it there and it, it just shut on me. My bad. It's okay, right. Um, trigger fingers this time around, I think. With a shotgun especially, it's, it's pretty good. Especially if we can get some ammo regen on top of it. Okay, so this time let's go here. We've got the jaw splitter as well, why not? Take you out. Excuse me, good sir, excuse me. Where, where, where have you decided to run off to? Why'd you do that? Easy. Through to the fishy area. Honestly, I think it's it's amazingly good how uh, how good scary a face is now, so I'm always going to take it. The amount of damage. Apparently as well, something that someone told me in the comments, is with scary a face... Oh, that was stupid. With scary a face, it's, it's like it scales off of itself, which is amazing. Basically meaning if I deal 20 damage with a crossbow and then my overage damage goes up to 45 there, my next damage is 54, as you just saw, and my next hit will be even more than that which is, that's 54, then it's 60, and it'll just keep going up and up and up. Um, it, it, it leads to some really, really crazy stuff. Um, of course, it doesn't always work out like that. But 20, 43, 51, 61. Ah. Oh, I could, what, what would really help, actually, is if I played quite significantly better than I currently am. So let's, let's try and focus on doing that first before we, uh, before we get into the minutiae of anything else, because... Right now, that's that's clearly a problem that I'm having, is, uh, is just playing well enough. We did manage to get through there, which is nice. Would like to grab that, thank you. Yeah, straight to level 2. And we did indeed get a, a grenade launcher, I believe. <clears throat> Throwing book could still be fun here, but I'm going to take power craving here. It is annoying that, unfortunately, because grenade launcher had already spawned, power craving didn't do anything. It would have been nice if power craving there um, gave us a bit of extra... Ooh, explosive shot on me there. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Double machine gun. It's probably better than that. And we get it with uh, blood as well, which is not bad. Little blood explosion for us. It's good when there's grouped up enemies. A little more ammo consumption, obviously, but a little less dangerous than a grenade launcher, I'd say, in the uh, in the long run. And I think the grenade launcher, when there's enemies running at us at high speed, is probably pretty dangerous. We've got to really keep our distance with this thing. Good thing is, it's nice and easy to pick up these rads. I'm going to just try and... Destroy that, so these rads actually get picked up there. We've got an inverted area here. You don't really get the inverted version of this area very often, so... Kind of a, a rare treat. Kind of a rare treat indeed. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Okay, um... Alien testings might be kind of interesting, but I think I'm going to go with Bloodlust. Ooh, this area looks fucking amazing. Man, oh, this thing with blood is, is quite good. Okay, these guys have tri-shot explosive. But this this thing with uh, with blood is, is very good. Okay, this guy I'm very worried about. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see why, I was very worried about it. Basically, he just kind of immediately tries to shit on you at, at high speeds. And even with my roll, I couldn't quite get out of the way in time. I should have been a bit more reactive there. I should have known that was coming. But this is the thing with the inverted flaws and... Playing with a mod that has this much various enemies and stuff, like, it's easy to forget what enemies do what. And it means that you can put yourself in some not-so-good positions pretty easily. Not all the time, but it can happen. Right, did get to level 2 here. And... Throwing butt, I actually quite like the throwing butt here. Can I, can I shoot while I'm doing this? I can, but I, I, it does mean, mean I'm constantly moving, though. But the unlimited roll is uh, is pretty nice. We'll go back down here again. I will most definitely take a pop rifle. Anything else that we need to see here? No. Okay. No fucking HP. God damn it. That's a little bit shit. Oh man, I am really eating dirt right now, aren't I? 
pop rifle good again. Really eating dirt right now. I need to be a lot more careful. <laughs> that seriously can't be it for the stage, right? Seriously can't be it. Wow, it is. That is a pathetic stage one. That was like almost no rads whatsoever. We do not like that. We do not like that. Let's keep our distance. There's a bit of a, a hellhole going on down here. Double machine gun once again I'm going to take because it was pretty good last time. And... I'll take this on this stage, I think, honestly. I want blood back on this thing. Blood on this thing last time was amazing. This thing would be really good with an accuracy up as well, to be honest. Took some damage there, but it's not a problem. Managed to get all of those rads, that's very nice. Get off of... <clears throat> Man. That stage is so hard, but I'm not giving up, baby. I'm not giving up. I did not want to go straight in here, so please don't make me. What's going on with our stage 1's been so bad for rads at the moment? Okay, this isn't actually that bad, but overall they've been pretty meh. Grenade launcher again is, is, is probably my favourite weapon to get for this stage. Just because of the really, really high damage output. It's a little more risky, obviously. But the really high damage output helps a lot. This doesn't help, though. Okay, thank God I've got the ability to roll to get away there. Excuse me, don't steal 12 grenades, you bitch. <laughs> That's a little much, don't you think? You saw all of my remaining grenade ammo. Fuck you. Again, double machine gun just keeps showing up right now. It just keeps showing up. Inversion magnet could be kind of could, could be kind of cute for this. My client's still either. Boiling veins actually might not be bad with the explosive enemies here. I have not really thought about that before, but not being able to die via the explosive enemies is is pretty amazing. Although I actually one thing I'm unsure of is because because it's an explosive shot, would the shot still deal damage? Say I was on one HP and those explosive shots hit me, would it kill me or not? I don't actually know. We did get reflected again. I'm sure to close this because I'd rather have the rads. They'd get a reflected area once again, but that does lead to some trouble. Um, probably go with Rabbit's Paw here. I just love the, the, the like the colours of this stage. They look so good. But remember, at the minute we are using uh, an explosive weapon, so be very cautious. We do not want to make a mockery of ourselves here. We want to keep, very much keep our distance, and we want to stay the hell away from the boss as well. That's another thing. Fucking hell, the boss is insane. The boss is absolutely insane. And the, the charge is in, the speed of this charge is, oh, I'm so fucked here, aren't I? Okay, no, we got him, we got him. Big Kraken gun sounds very lovely. I will take that as my new explosive weapon of choice. My god. <laughs> I can actually attach explosive to this as well, which is rather nice. Double flame shotgun as well as my secondary. Man. Oh, god damn. Um, honestly, I'm thinking Bloodlust here. And tough Shell as well. Ooh, this area is cool. Is this the inverted version of this area? I think it is, isn't it? Luckily, we've got a weapon that's actually pretty well suited to this because we're able to chain shots pretty effectively. What the hell's that? It just shoot. It just shoots one of everything. That's pretty cool. Exactly what I'm looking for, but it's pretty cool. All oh, right, okay, we're over here now. Careful of the assassins. They've done us dirty before, and they will again. But this is this is the sort of weapon we want for this. 
The big monkeys are really tough. Big gorillas, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, pretty tough. Blade gun. Is blade gun? I forget what, what the blade gun is. Okay, no, it's this gun. I wonder what's the difference with that compared to the disc gun. It seems the same to me, but obviously it's not. You chill out, boys. Thank you. Is that it? We good? We are good. Okay. Okay. Uh, what are we going for next? Let's go with a resource slap. Oh, the bush box is here. No! <laughs> That was absolutely fucking ambushed there. I didn't see the bush box. I wasn't ready for it, and it just... Oh, my God. <laughs> that was kind of great. I think it opens up, all, opens up all the nearby chests. I also like having a roll so I can get the hell away from it. When it's trying to suck me in, I've got enough power to take myself out of the ring. Do we have any other enemies here? We don't. I was really hoping for one more. Look at look at my goddamn uh, rads here. Jaw split is a good one to get early here, to be honest. I do like the fact that um, Ultra Mod has a lot of really early game strong weapons. Nice, because there is some hard stuff for, like in this game. If you want to go to the stage, having one of these stronger weapons is I won't say mandatory, but it it helps a lot. <laughs> Director is good. We'll take a director rifle. Uh, da -da -da -da. What should we go for? Glass cannon again. I think I'm going to go for and scary face. I love these two as a combo. Glass cannon and scary face as a combo is really, really nice. It's a little risky. This is a burst weapon as well, so we should try and get the burst uh, thing when we can. Micro SMG there. Take that. Again, micro SMG, really good with an accuracy up, so we'll take it. It's also just really good in crowds, as you can clearly see as well. Fires really goddamn fast. As long as we keep our distance from this fella dive out the way when we need to. We should be fine. There you go. Get a lot from that spiral yo-yo gun. Sounds pretty gnarly. Director Slugger's also good, but I think we'll take with the spiral gun. Um, Sharp Stress could be good. I think we'll go with Flexible Elbows again here. And Bloodlust. Oh, that was kind of bullshit. It fired my weapon upon just entering the stage and immediately activated a poison mushroom. Of course, not what I wanted, game. Not what I was looking for at all. Only thing with this is its its range is pretty limited, and honestly, in a stage like this, limited range does not seem good. But we opened that straight away, which I wasn't expecting. We got a flare gun there. Okay, we're back here again, which, again, wasn't expecting. Don't know how uh, how much I value this. The slapping resource thing. I don't know if it automatically puts the resource in your inventory if it drops them on the floor. And I don't know if rads count as a resource, but oh my god. Honestly, the inverted stages are so gnarly, man. They're so difficult, but it's it's a lot of fun. I actually really, like, I, I actually respect a roguelike that works like this one does. I mean, Nuclear Throne Vanilla already did anyways, but I respect it like when a, when a mod developer kind of plays into the theme like this and... Basically, we've got this situation in which you die a lot. <laughs> Runs can be like five minutes or less because you just die a lot, which is fine. It's fine. It's part of the charm of the game. And obviously, it can it, for, for viewers that are good at this game, it's probably a little frustrating to watch me just fail after fail after fail. But for the vast majority of people, I don't think they're in that camp. Oh, come on now. Oh, is this another inverted area? When did this happen? Also, what happened with that guy? He kind of exploded. Um, 
Why does this have explosive on it? Or do these enemies just explode? Or is this just something to do with scarier face? I'm definitely getting some explosions going on here, and it's it's kind of sus. Okay, I, I think I'm dead here, aren't I? Once again. Okay, I don't know how I lived through that. Let's be real. I'm probably going to miss out on a good amount of rads here, I think. I'm going to need that laser pistol real quick to uh, take care of these things. A little easier. Thank you. Flame shotgun I'll take. Weapon drop is fine on either one of these, I think. I don't know what's going on with the explosions right now, but I respect them. Zoom myself back all the way over here to find what is probably, yep, a maggot. <laughs> I kind of expected that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Puffy Cheeks is pretty good here. Ecstatic Fists is amazing. Ow. A few of you up here. Eighty-seven damage with this thing. Another inverted. I missed the ammo. God damn it! The inverted stages at the minute, considering we don't have any boosts to inverted, is uh pretty crazy. That's the sniper. I knew he was going to be a problem, so I had to try and take him out sneakily. Charge lasers, probably pretty good here. I'm going to put more on my flame shotgun here. Didn't actually mean to destroy that, but what's done is done. Okay, we're all good. We are all good. And we're going to go with... Shotgun shoulders, maybe? That could be pretty good for us. Just gotta be cautious here. We're still on an inverted floor, so... Well, let's get easily sneak through this gap, so let's take our time. But that one snuck right through. Okay, I think we're good. Careful of these shots that we can uh, dodge. Balls, man! I'm getting wrecked right now. <laughs> I'm gonna give it one more try. Ah, oh. I was like, careful of those shots, and I instantly walked into a micro missile. I forget how deadly the micro missiles are on the uh, inverted. I just told you the inverted floors. Look, what another inverted floor? The inverted floors are just insane. Okay, I don't know what weapon I got there, but I'll be happy with it. Toxic Revolver, probably not the best, but at distance it might be good. I think it's something we've got to be wary of using otherwise, but at distance it might be good. Bit of extra damage, bit of linger. This is definitely my favourite inverted floor visually, I think. But that, that uh, I think Underwater one is really good inverted as well. As well as the, um, the, the the jungle we were just on as well is really nice. 1.25. I've literally never seen that before. I've literally never seen a, a weapon be 1.25 before. <laughs> That's weird. That's really strange. Um, shotgun shoulders once again, why not? Ecstatic fists as well. Get careful of this bastard. Yeah, I guess it's got to be nearly dead, it is. Orbiter. It's got bounce on it, that's always good. Homing on this thing seems fun with the uh, shotgun shoulders, I'd say. Right, let's get going. I'm going to take that to hunger. 
I find saliva. Yeah, this area is really cool as well. It being dark and stuff is, is nice, like a nighttime version of this. Oh, it's plutonium hunger. Ooh, plutonium hunger's got a new visual. It shows you when it like sucks things towards you. I like that. It's really nice. Ow, good hit. Put flame on that bad boy as well, why not? Any of these bushes could be a, an enemy, I think. Yep. Any one of them. Dude, the curvy shots from the Gorilla Boys is uh, rough, man. Dude, this goddamn bush assassins, man. Swear to God. It's a hard life, my guy. It's a hard life. We'll take that. Probably should be taking things that help us respawn as well, to be honest. That'd be a good idea. Respawn items would be pretty lovely. My god. Just gotta be careful. Honestly, the gorillas are like the most difficult enemy. Okay, bush bosses here. I think we have hit bush boss. No, I haven't activated them yet, but there you go. It's insane the amount of assassins that come out of the bush. Look at that. That's insane. I love it. I love it, but goddamn. I'm so fucked. Yeah, this is such a difficult stage, man. But I think I'm going to leave it there. That's been a fun collection of deaths. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. And I'll see you guys in the next one.